Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to do one excellence question uh, taken from level 2 maths of NZQA or NCEA. Uh, the topic is derivative and integral. Okay, now this is a question of integration. So let's read the question. So it's a, this is an excellence question. Now, uh, the question is, the cross section of a canal can be modeled by a parabola. The canal is 40, 80 meters wide at ground level and uh, 20 meters deep at its lowest point. The canal is 0.8 kilometers long. Find the volume of water in the canal when it is full of, full to the ground level. Now, now this is this is the cross section of the canal. So this is the cross section of canal, cross section of the canal. So what does it say? Now it is 80 meters wide at the ground level. Now this x-axis is your ground level. So this is your ground level. Okay. So this is 80 meters. So can I say this is a negative 40? And this is plus 40. Okay. So that's 80 meters wide. So this is the origin. Okay. Now it is 20 meters deep at its lowest point. So this point, which is the vertex, is minus 20. So this is, these are the three points that we know. And this is enough to write the equation of this parabola. So what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to find the equation of the parabola. You have to find the equation of the parabola. Then we need to find this, area. I'll come to that later, we need to find this area. So this is where the water is filled, and you have to see it's 80 meters, sorry, 80 kilometers long. So if you find the area of this cross section and then multiply it by 80 kilometers, that will give you the volume of the water in meter cube. So the first objective is to find the equation of this parabola. So by looking at the, at the parabola, I can say the parabola has gone 20 down and there is a stretch factor. I don't know how much is the stretch factor. So by just looking at the, uh, at the parabola, I can say y, the equation of the parabola should be y is equal to a x squared minus 20, just like that. Okay. Now, if that's the equation of the parabola, we have to find a now, which is a stretch factor. So uh, what's, what's one point that we know on a parabola? So this point is 40, 0. I can say this is point is 40, 0. That means your x value is 40 and your y value is 0. So I can say when x is 40, y is 0 on the parabola. Okay. So let me scroll down. So I can put this back into this equation. I can say 0 is equal to a times 40 squared minus 20. Okay. So what happens now? So this is 0 is equal to 1600a minus 20 because 40 squared is 1600. So if we add 20 to both sides, I can say 20 is equal to 1600a. So if you divide this side by 1600, you can divide this side also by 1600. So what happens? 1600 gets cancelled. So a is, this is 1 over 80. So the equation of the parabola is y is equal to x squared over 80 minus 20. That is the equation of the parabola. Now you want to find the area of this cross section. Okay. So now to find the area of the cross section, you have to integrate from minus 40 to 40. Or you can also integrate from 0 to 40 and because this cross section is symmetrical. So if you do twice of this integration, you get the area. So first we'll do without the calculator and then I'll show you how you can do it with the calculator. So so area of cross section or you, I'll write only area is integration of from 0 to 40 twice of 0 to 40 of the function. What's the function? That's the parabola which is x squared over 80 minus 20 dx. So 
So we are integrating for this function. We are finding this area. This area. We're talking about this area. This this cross section. Okay. We are finding this cross section, and then we are going to multiply that by two. Will give you the total area of the cross section. So using integration, which is two. Now when you're integrating x squared, you will have x cube over 3 and 3 goes with 80 which is 240 minus 20 x from 0 to 40. Now here the answer would be negative. The reason is this area, this that negative only tells you that the area is under the x axis. So don't need be scared about the negative answer. Negative answer is only telling you the area is underneath the so if you don't want the negative, you can take the modulus. So I'll not do worry about that now. So this is two, two times. Put 40 into this. So 40 cube is, uh, so uh, let me do that. That is 40 cube over 240 minus 20 times 40. I'm putting the up, this is the upper bound, and then you have to take away the lower bound. So if you put 0 there, this will become 0 and this will become 0. So this will not matter. So this is 2 times integration. 40 cube is 64. Then you have to put 3 zeros. Am I right? Uh, I'll confirm that. So let us use the calculator. We can use the calculator. Why should we? So let's get the calculator out. So, so this is menu run. So 40 cube divided by 240 and take away 20 times 40. That's your negative answer and that you have to times it by 2. Okay. That is and then this if you want to change this into a uh, so this is minus so let me change that. This is 6 1066 and two third. So negative is only telling you the. So the answer is area of cross section of cross section is one thousand sixty six and two third meter squared. Now volume is area of cross section times the uh, times the height. Okay, or the length here. Yeah. Okay, you can imagine this is a, this is 80.8 kilometers long, which is 0 0.8 times 1,000 meters, which is 800 meters. So you, if you times that by 800 meters, you'll get the volume of water in meter cube. So volume of water, I'll then now show how to do this on a volume of water would be this number that is 1066 and two third meter cube times 800 okay so let us do it again so menu 1066 abc two thirds times 800 uh, so this is so this i'll change this into uh, so this is Uh, hmm. So this is uh, this eight. Let me do it again. So this is one thousand sixty-six and two thirds times eight hundred. Which is let me change that into so so this is eighty eight fifty three thousand three hundred thirty three and one third meter cube. Uh, so let me write that. So 850, 850, 3000, oh, I forgot the number. Let me do it again. Uh, 1000, 1066 and two thirds, two thirds times 800. Uh, I'll change that. So that's 8, 8, 853,333 and one third. So that is easy to remember now. Eight fifty three thousand 
333 and one third meter cube. This is your volume of water in the canal. Okay, now I'll show you how to do this on a calculator. Now how to integrate means how to get this answer on a calculator. Okay, without, if you know the equation of the parabola, you can do, you can check this on a calculator like this. You go menu, run, and you go to option, and this is calculus, F4. And this is, F4 is integration of the function, which is x squared divided by 80 hmm, uh, minus 20. Okay. And you want from 0 to 40. So you go type in this comma, 0, comma, 40. Okay. So you're integrating from. We are asking the calculator to integrate this function. The lower bound is 0 and the upper bound is 40. Close the bracket and this is your answer. Okay. And that if you times it by 2, this is what we got. Okay. And that if you times it by 800, you can get the answer. 85, 853,333. So you can be very pleased with your answer. So and as you have checked your answer and now you can give yourself five stars. Oh, it's not a star. So let me give five stars. One, two, three, four, five.